Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Leus. It's Wednesday, September 2nd. It is 9.30 and you are watching your lesson for Lesson 6, Chapter 1. So go get your math book, get a pencil ready, and let's do Lesson 6 together. Lesson 6 starts on page 43. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and then you guys will have some assignments to do on your own. And then when you're with me during math stations this week, that is the time when I will go over help with you. Okay, we're talking about place value through the thousands place. So if I had the number, you know, one, two, three, decimal, one, two, three, when we start to work with numbers that have decimals, all these numbers over here are in the tenths. This is in the hundredths. And all the way up through the thousands. This three is in the thousands. So this also is explained in your place value chart. Remember I printed a nice big place value chart and they're in your math folder. So go get that out if you're still struggling with place value and that should really help you. All right, a decimal can be greater than one. For example, 1 1.5 is greater than one because there is a non-zero digit in the ones place. Let me explain that a little bit more. We're saying that 1.5 is bigger than 1 or 1.0. Remember, the number 1 is the same thing as 1.0, There are infinite amount of imaginary zeros following this decimal. 1.0 is the same thing as just 1. But 1.5 is bigger because I have a 5 in the tenths place. And a five in the tenths place is bigger than a zero sitting in the tenths place. And that's what this means. Okay, let's do this example. Five tree taps produce enough maple sap to make one gallon, or about 3.79 liters of syrup. Read and write the number of liters in word form. First, write the number in the chart. Okay, so we're gonna match 3.79 and we're gonna put it in the proper spot. Always start with the decimal, which is right here. To the left of the decimal, there's a three, right? And then to the right, it goes seven and then nine. So I have a three in the ones place, a seven in the tenths place, and a nine in the hundredths. The place value of the last digit nine is what? Hmm, so we're, we were identifying <clears throat> We are identifying word form, right? The place value of the last digit nine is, it's nine out of a thousand, right? So we're gonna say nine out of a thousand. It's nine thousandths. So now let's use word and decimal point. So the word form of this number is gonna be three, right? Because we have a three. And stands for the decimal, 79. Well, is it just 79? No, we have, oh, and I'm sorry, it's nine hundredths. Oh, Mrs. Leuce made a mistake, sorry about that. This nine is sitting in the hundredths place. So it's 79 hundredths. So we're still practicing understanding word form, you guys. How do I say this number? Three and 79 hundredths. Three and 79 hundredths. Why do I say hundredths? Because that's where the nine lands. Let's do example two. Circle the digit that's in the thousands place. Ooh, what digit is in the thousands place? It's the seven. The thousands place is how many times places to the right of the decimal? Ooh, it's one, two, three. It's three places, right? One, two, three. Circle the digit. We did, we circled the seven. The digit has a value of what? What's the value of the digit? It's seven thousandths, because it's a seven sitting in the thousands place. All right, let's move on. So I'm on page 45. I'm gonna do a couple of each of these, and then you guys will do the rest for your assignment today. If you don't finish, don't worry about it. At 10 o'clock, or I'm sorry, at 10.30, you need to or I'm sorry, <laughs> let me start over. At 10 o'clock, you need to stop and go do math stations, right? Let's look back at our schedule. 
right now we're doing our math lesson till 10 and then at 10 o'clock you stop and you go do math stations. If you're with me, you'll come with me. If you're not, you'll go do a different activity. But I wanna reiterate as we start doing this new schedule of math stations that at 10 o'clock, you are gonna stop your math book work because you need to move on to stations. All right, let's get back to this. Name the place of the highlighted digit, then write the value. Okay, so name the place. Where is this seven sitting? Because that's the highlighted digit. It's sitting in the hundredths place. And then what's the value? The value is seven hundredths. So I'm gonna write it as a fraction, seven hundredths. You can also write it like this, 0 0.07. It's worth seven hundredths. So I wanna see all three of these ways written down. Number seven. The five, so what place is it in? We're gonna write that down, it's in the tenths. And what's the value? Five tenths, or I could write 0. 0.5. I'll do number eight, and then you're gonna do nine, 10, and 11 on your own. Nine, 10, and 11 on your own. Number eight, the two. The two is in the thousandths place. Please make sure you're spelling that correctly. It's spelled correctly on your place value chart in your math folder. It's worth two out of a thousand, or, oops, not 10,000, just a thousand. Or you can write it as a decimal, it's 0 .002. So again, I wanna see all three ways for your answers on these. Word form of what place it's in, fraction form, and decimal form of just the highlighted digit. All right, when you're done with that, um, then come and do the next one. So what I would do is I would pause the video and do 9, 10, and 11, and then come back and start the next section. All right, here's the next section. Write each number in standard form. We're gonna write all of these in standard. If you need help, go get your math note cards or look back at a previous lesson when we did standard form. 13 and 9 tenths. So that would be 13 and is a decimal, and then be careful with this last part. It says nine tenths. So that means a nine is sitting in the tenths place. Um, I'm gonna let you do 13. I'm gonna do 14. Notice this is expanded. We're gonna change it into standard. So one times 10, that means there's a one in the tens place. One times one, that means there's a one in the ones place plus plus would be our next digit. But notice it goes to parentheses. That means there's a decimal, sorry. Nine times one tenth, that means a nine in the tenths place. A two times one hundredth means there's a two in the hundredths place. And then three times one thousandths means there's a three in the thousandths place. So the correct answer is 11.923. So please be careful with that. I want you to try 15. I am going to also, so I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do 16 and 17 just to help you out. Five and three thousandths. Ooh, this one's tricky. Five and, that would be five decimal. It just says three thousandths. That means there's a three sitting in the thousandths place. If there's only a three in the thousandths, that means the tenths and hundredths have to be zero. You have to fill in the zeros if they don't tell you there's a digit there. So the correct answer is 5.003. All right, I want you to also do 17, and then I don't want you to worry about the bottom. Let's skip this for now, and I want you to go do 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 17, and then stop, or if it's 10 o'clock, you need to stop and go on to math stations. All right, you guys, I will see you at Math Stations if you're with me. Otherwise, you're gonna go look down at our website and see what it wants you to do for your Math Station today that you were assigned on this schedule.